Yo! Uh, hello lads and ladies, uh, it's me your boy Alex, back with another video. Um, this one is going to be my sort of six month-ish <laughs> um, gear, gear like progression video. Um, I watched uh, exclusives and Soga's uh, videos on their Hyperburn and their like six month mark. And I meant to make one, but I was just kind of busy doing other stuff, you know. Um, so this is that video that I was going to make a while ago. Um, I'll link those to um, their channels in the comment below. Um, they're, you know, they make some cool stuff. Um, Dawn Warrior and a Nightwalker, very pog. Uh, but yeah, with that, let's sort of get into it, I guess. Um, I kind of unequipped everything just because I want to go through each piece one by one. Um, so we're going to start with the, the Kra. Uh, first one's my hat, it's 22, decent flame. Uh, this one's quite cheap for me. I did it on the Shining Star Force in Ignition. Uh, it's nice and easy. Uh, the, the top, the flame is real juicy on this one. 22 again. Um, I could re-roll the potential at some point, but until I'm like all full uh, free line and everything, that's when I'll start like re-going for higher like pots. Um, but 24 is fine for me for now. Uh, I think, yeah, this one, decent flame as well. Could be reflamed. A lot of my gear could be reflamed, to be honest. Um, but 22 again. Uh, this is my weapon, 17 star. Um, if I struggle on like a liberation mission, I might push it further because I have two spares. Um, but I mean, I can probably liberate it for 17, to be honest. Um, but, you know, two-hand diff. Um, you'll notice here that I am a an Absolab gamer. Controversial. Uh, I'm going to make a video on Abso versus AU and sort of my take on it eventually. Um, but for now, I use uh, Absolab. Um, 22 star. Uh, I need to reflame all of these. Um, but they're all 22. Uh, nice nice and easy. The, the, I, again, I'll go into it in a video like another time, but the replacements is just so much easier to get, especially in like a faster pace. Um, Umbra just takes too long, man, if you get unlucky. Um, 22 again. Uh, they're all free line. Uh, shoulders nice and easy. Uh, my superior gear, um, kind, of, kind of lackluster, to be honest. I got real unlucky with uh, earrings last time, so I've been saving a lot of fodders for that. Um, but they're 17. Uh, my belt, I used like a million pink bean belts to, <laughs> to get this to uh, to 22. It was rough, man. <laughs> uh, but we got there. It cost me like almost 35 bill or something crazy. Um, but we got it. Uh, I got this real nasty flame on my pendant, which is going to be so upsetting when I get rid of it. Because um, I'm going to remake a, a 22 pendant. I could have had a 21, but I pushed for a 22 and it boomed on the first tap. <laughs> uh, I'm very much like a 22 kind of person though. The same for my ring. I had a 22 Meister. I transferred it over to a 21 Superior ring, tapped once and it boomed. Uh, should have kept the 22 Meister or the 21 Superior, but you know, I digress. Eventually I'll get there. Uh, this is my slime ring. Uh, I hit a free line on this real quickly with like a red cube or blue cube. I don't know what we call them now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's nice and easy. I've got a few fodders for this. Uh, thanks to Y, he's been helping me do uh, Chaos Slime. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll eventually try and Star Force this, probably on Shiny. Um, and then I have my Reinforced Ring. Again, real cheap free line. I want to replace this. Um, if I do make another like 22 Meister or a 22 Kana, I'll replace my Reinforced Ring. Um, and I run a permanent Oz Ring because I'm a real lazy guy and I don't swap. Um, I do have a fourth ring which is this Kana ring, um, but it's not very good. Um, but yeah, I just run Weapon Jump. I do have a Ring of Restraint as well, but it's only level 2. And my Weapon Jump 4 is basically the same output as my Ring of Restraint 2 on a, on a BA. So, oh, nice voice crack. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, this is my Domi. Uh, nice, nice flame. Uh, I've tried to get this to 22 so many times, but I've been through so many Dominators, man. Um, I even started crafting them. <laughs> I, I'm so down bad for Dominators, dude. It's unreal. Um, it's probably one of the most cursed items on my account, man. It's insane. Uh, my book. This is an absolutely nasty flame, dude. Holy. 106 with some decks as well. Man, this thing is juiced. I love this book. I think it's actually the best flame on my account. Like, even across my reg server stuff as well. Um, I have a Berserked. Uh, the reason I use this at 17 instead of just YOLOing it to 22 
Um, it's because I got this before I got like a Twilight or anything else, and I skipped uh, Commercy Sweetwater because I just didn't want to do it. Um, so I went straight to a Berserk. Um, I do have a Twilight now, so if I boom my Berserk, like say I try on Shiny, I'll transition to a Twilight because I've got a few fodders as well. Um, but like that definitely needs work, so I'm still kind of deciding what I need to do with this. Um, whether I just YOLO it straight to 22 or I make the Twilight first and then go for the Berserk. Um, I haven't really made up my mind yet. Um, now, because I didn't do Sweetwater, I'm running a Black Bean Mark instead um, at 20 star. Um, I do have a couple, a couple, I've got three. I had five, but I boomed two already. Uh, Pat Marks, which I got real, like, real lucky on this character, to be fair. Um, so I might eventually swap out the Black Bean for a Pat Mark, or maybe an Eye Patch if I get a drop, um, but that's wishful thinking. Um, the Fairy Heart, nice, easy free line. Uh, this is my secondary. Uh, this cost about 10 bill to get. I got super, super lucky with that. Uh, my previous one was two-line boss, one-line attack, so it was a nice upgrade for me of getting a three-line. Uh, my emblem's two-line attack, one-line IED. Um, so my WSC is two lines of boss, one line of IED, and then the rest of it is attack. Uh, so 6 two, one Eventually, I want to push that to like maybe a 7-2 seven, uh, seven, um, or just flat 9. Um, but I'm waiting to get a Saren Emblem to go for like a free line on an emblem and I'm waiting for a Genesis uh, to reroll my weapon because I can liberate with this and um, there's no point in me spending like so much mess so on it. Um, Monster Park uh, medal, not badge. Uh, nice and easy to get. Almost everyone uses this. Uh, this is my, my badge. Uh, we had a, a Black Mage badge drop in our Black Mage run. Uh, it was run one actually. I think it's on the channel. Um, but I didn't blink for it because I was like quite weak at the time, so I didn't feel uh, confident about like taking it. Uh, and then Android. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my gear. Uh, this is all my drop gear and stuff. Uh, I do have Arcane Umbras, and I'll go into this another time. Um, but I'm using Absos for now. Stat wise, I am 46k uh, with a fourth ring instead of an Ulse ring. I'm 51. Um, but I, again, I run permanent Oz ring. Um, and that's my stats. 31 mil range. 350% uh, boss. Uh, keep in mind, this is kind of inflated by uh, event stats. Um, but event stats are kind of like persistent across the year. Um, there's not really a lot of downtime on them. Uh, eventually, I'll probably re-roll my inner ability. But... I don't know, I'm waiting for New Age to see if they announce like some new sort of grinding thing or something, and then maybe I'll go 285. Um, so I'm keeping this for now just in case I do push, because uh, I grind in full Meso Drop Gear 200, 100. Uh, Legion, I'll show you that as well. Again, bog standard. I've got a little bit of crit rate in here, uh, just to sort of supplement my Dawn Warrior. Helps my other characters as well. Uh, familiars. Uh, my familiar is kind of scuffed. <laughs> uh, when I got to 280, I've been I've gone back to 25 uh, in Lamina, and I've started grinding for familiars. So I got this one, of a 35% boss. Um, I got these when I was grinding to uh, 260 uh, originally. 20% uh, defense. Uh, I was in VC3 uh, just because the rest of the whole like the whole of <laughs> Moonbridge was like taken, uh, but. I didn't really want to like go anywhere else. Uh, I don't like LH6. I think the map's way too big. It just felt kind of weird. Uh, so VC3 was nice and easy. Um, I have a drop set as well. Uh, I got this. This was like the first familiar that I opened. <laughs> and it was large drop. Dude, I popped off. Um, and I've got a... These are just like ones that I'm going to tear up and level up. Uh, but this one's a heal as well. I don't know if I mentioned that. I probably did. Uh, but that's my like bossing setup. Uh, it's 35 boss, 20 ID, and then a large heal. And yeah. Uh, link skills, I guess I can show you. Um, obviously, all my nodes are maxed. Um, apart from decents, but I don't really care about that. Uh, That's what I run links-wise. And yeah, nice and easy. Uh, eventually, in Shining Star Force, what I want to do, um, if I'm lucky enough, is push Earring to 22, um, get this Dommy to 22, that's like my main two goals. And then I need to decide on what to gamble with the Berserk or the Twilight. Um, and then I'll do something with rings. Um, I'll probably, if I get lucky enough, is 
ideally, I want to make a 22 out of these rings here. Um, replace the reinforced. Uh, and then go for like 21 or 22 on my slime ring. Uh, and then eventually in the uh, uh, Star Force event after that, I'll then try and make like a 22 superior ring. Um, but apart from that, then like I'll basically be full 20-ish star. And then start working on pitched items when they drop uh, and things like that. That'd be a nice simple video. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, but yeah, uh, shout out Exclusive and Soga again for a sort of inspiring me to do this kind of like six month ish i keep it six month ish it's like two weeks ago man come on <laughs> uh but yeah uh thanks very much and uh i'll uh i'll see you next time